So, Brito, I have a, an email from a listener that I want to read for you. Will you indulge me? Indulged. Uh, the email goes, I saw a doctor specializing in CBT, or cognitive behavioral therapy, for anxiety. I fell instantly in lust with him. After the therapy ended, I was crushed. I felt yeah. abandoned. I felt I was in love with him. Whoa. I thought about him a lot. Ten years later, I contacted him. By the way, he teaches ethics to other clinicians, and he's 20 years older than me. So I contacted him 10 years later. I expressed my attraction, and I think his ego was flattered. And I seduced him over the phone. We had some intense texting. So we met up, and we kissed. We met up a number of times, and we just did kissing. But then we decided to just be friends. And I'm worried that I've left him racked with guilt. I have to reassure him all the time that I'm fine whenever we chat. But I honestly feel our romantic relationship helped me. After we kissed, all of my intense feelings for him disappeared, and I saw him as a normal person rather than a god. Hmm. So I don't think that relationships with former clients should be frowned upon. I know a power dynamic is involved, but surely the point of therapy is to allow clients to have true autonomy, and part of that autonomy would be to choose who they want to date. No doubt others have been hurt by predatory types. I think people should be warned in advance of the intense emotions, she has intense in all caps, of the intense emotions one may feel for their therapist and vice versa. I wasn't prepared for it and was confused by my feelings. By the way, we were both in committed relationships during this time oh, man. and didn't want to see anyone hurt. Strangely enough, I didn't see it as cheating. Berto, what do you think about all this stuff? Uh, it's a lot of chaos. Okay. Well, that's what I want to talk about today. We're going to talk about the history of psychotherapy and how many prominent uh, figures in psychotherapy in our field have had sexual contact with their clients. I'm going to present some of the research regarding therapists having sexual feelings toward their clients, and I'll provide my thoughts regarding the listener's situation. Welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I'm, yo, I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a professor and a therapist. Did you say I'm yo host? I'm yo host. <laughs> and my name is Humberto Castaneda. I hunt for rabbits. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron yet, then this episode will end before the content begins. If you want to hear the full episode, you have to become a patron of the podcast by going to patreon.com. That's patreon.com. Patrons get access to all the premium episodes, and all the episodes also don't have any advertisements, which can be really nice. Uh, they can get the access on their phones or on the Patreon page, blah, blah, blah. And if we get another couple hundred patrons, we'll start donating to the to Pet Finder, which is an organization that helps save pets from being euthanized by taking care of them and connecting them with a loving home. 